So let's talk about controlling speed and distance with your putts. And I'm gonna give you a technique and a method to help you control speed and distance that I'll guarantee is hugely important and you never thought of it before now. So I see a lot of people struggling with controlling the speed and the distance on their putts. And the biggest reason is not that they don't take it back the same amount or they swing at the same pace. The biggest reason is they don't strike the ball consistently. I want the center or the median of the ball on the center of the putter face. How do I work on doing that? Some of you follow the channel and are subscribers. By the way, you all ought to subscribe. But some of you who follow the channel will remember a while back, I did a video on getting your putts rolling and I did slow motion indoors at, in my little practice area at my house and got the ball to make on an eight foot putt two complete revolutions, 720 degrees of roll in 12 inches. And some of you have commented on that video and emailed me, I can't make it roll. I get it rolling, but I can't make it rolling that much. Here's a little secret trick that will help you with that. And it's gonna take three dimes, simply three dimes. And you can put this indoors in your practice mat or outdoors on the putting green. And you put the three dimes on the ground and we'll talk about what to do, but here's what I, here's what I want you to realize. If I'm, coming down on the ball with my putter, it doesn't roll, it skids and bounces, even slightly. If I'm coming up on the ball with my putter, it doesn't roll, it hops or flies and bounces. Research has shown that the best tour pros have zero to one half of one degree of effective loft and impact, and their putter is moving slightly up. Well, how can I practice or work to get it there? Because here's the thing, if my ball is rolling, gravity is consistent, friction on the green is consistent, then I know the ball is going to perform the same way every time because I struck it the same way every time. Then I can start to make adjustments in the length of my stroke, the pace of my stroke, however, to control speed or distance. But unless I'm rolling it consistently, it's going to be hard to control speed and distance and especially to fine tune speed and distance. So here's the drill. Three dimes on the ground and you act like the dimes are your golf ball and you square up. And of course, the shadow of my putter is going to block the dimes. In fact, Mr. Cameraman, why don't we try to spin around here so we can zoom in and, and actually get the dimes without my shadow. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to line up just like that's the ball, everything I normally do. And I want to take the first dime off the stack, only one. All right, I moved two dimes that time, which means wasn't quite right. And you're going to find that this drill is very difficult and it will frustrate you. But it's also easy. You can work on it two or three minutes, five minutes a day at home. All right, coming up too much. I missed the dimes. That would loft the ball. Took two dimes off the stack. Coming down, it's going to skid and not roll. And again, every time you make sure you have the ball in the right position and your setup is square. Too low. Boom. Two dimes. Like I said, it's not easy and you'll get frustrated, but just work on it. Five minutes a day. All right, took one dime off the stack. Yeah, there's a little skid that moved that dime, but that's okay. And you keep working at it and get to where you can do that consistently. You get three or four in a row. Two dimes that time. Oh, just barely moved one. That was close, but not perfect. Hit the top dime, but didn't move it off the stack. 
So work on that, try that and practice. Again, it's frustrating, it's difficult, but if you get to where you're consistently able to take one dime off the top of the stack, that means your putter is going into the ball in a way that's not bouncing and skidding it, not lofting it where it flies and hops, where the ball gets rolling. And if it's rolling, then it's going to perform the same way over and over and over again. That makes it much easier for you to control the speed and the distance because the performance of the ball is consistent. Once you get that down, you can check out some of these other videos on the channel for other techniques on controlling speed and distance and making more putts. And of course, before you do that, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends who have a struggle getting the ball close to the hole because they can't manage speed and distance. And here's to you making more putts. Mm -hmm.